Hello everyone. My name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI assistant app in Flutter and in this video as the title says we are going to create custom animated snack bars okay using get but before that there is one small thing that I want to address so recently Flutter has released version 3.16.2 and actually I upgraded to it so there is a one small glitch as you can see the UI of our application it has changed a little bit okay so if you just even go inside of it now you will see that button is not even that visible and this color of app bar is also changed and many more things are changed uh, the reason is quite a simple okay uh, the flutter 3.16 is using by default material 3 in their project okay so if you don't know what is material 3 material 3 is the new design guidelines by Google okay so it is applied by default now in our project I don't want it to be applied by default if you wish you can keep it but I don't wish to keep it right now so what I will do is inside my my app inside this theme data okay what I will do is I will use this attribute use material 3 and I will simply set it to false okay and now if I just simply press control save now you will see the UI has changed a little and it is same as we kept it okay so create button is visible and as you can see that rocket icon is visible so it looks decent to me okay now moving to our snack bar now first thing why we require a snack bar now if I go to my AI image creator and I simply click on this create there is no message which is telling me that you have to type something to create something okay so that should be there like write a beautiful description or something else so snack bars are needed so what I'm gonna do is inside our helper generally I prefer creating a new file my dialogues dot that and simply inside this I have created a class called as my dialogue and inside this I have simply written three comments info success and error so generally I create three different dialogues for three different situations okay now moving to the info the basic dialogue uh, this is the dialogue that I use generally when I simply want to show a message okay so in that case uh, I am just creating a function here which will be static which means it can be accessed without creating an instance of this my dialogue okay so static void which means it will return nothing and simply info okay and this function will expect a parameter okay that will be the message so simply I am writing it as message okay now inside this function I will use get okay so simply get and we need to import get in our package dot and I can use a snack bar here okay so get has a snack bar by default and we need to pass a title and a message to it so for a title since this is an info dialogue I am keeping it as simple info and message will be the message passed by us and for now I'm just simply pressing control save now what I wish to do is inside this image controller I will use this dialogue okay so simply like this okay actually I'm just moving this below this one and simply here inside this else if text controller is not empty then execute this course and if it is empty in that case I want to show a dialogue here so simply I will write my dialogue which we have created just now dot info and we can write any message we like so simply provide some beautiful image description and if I just simply press control save and now if I click on this create now you will see a beautiful dialogue shows here okay info and provide some beautiful image description okay and that looks pretty decent to me but still I want it to little bit more customized like I want to change the color of this text and some more things so what I will do is inside this my dialogue you can hover on it and you can see multiple properties it has okay so it also allow you to set the position of this dialogue so simply above as you can see snack bar position so you can use this to set the position of the dialogue okay like simply here comma and we can use snack bar position and if you hover on it it will show you it expects a snack position so snack position dot bottom okay and now if you click on this you will see it pops from the below okay so actually I want it from the above only and after that I want to give it a color a background color 
okay so simply we can use background color and simply colors dot blue because blue is the primary theme of our application and actually i need to import colors from material okay and simply press control save and now if i click on this now you will see a blue color dialog shows but actually that looks too bold to me okay so i will use this with a little bit of opacity and let it be around 0.8 percent and i also want to change the text color okay so simply color text and let's say i want it to be white colored so simply colors dot white and now if i click on it now let's say 0.7 and simply click on this and okay this looks decent to me you can change the way you like it so with this we created a dialog now we can just similarly copy this down and create different for different use cases and simply changing it to success and error respectively and simply control c now if i just go to my image controller and inside this if i just use this error one and press control save and click on this it looks like this error provide some beautiful image description but i don't want to bother user with a kind of a error so i'm just using info but as i said you can use any one of them and they looks quite uh, beautiful and if you want you can increase and decrease the time of the snack bars by simply providing the duration so now one more last thing inside this chat controller again i want to use this dialog okay so simply here when the prompt is empty in that case i want to show the dialog so simply my dialog and simply import it dot and simply info okay and simply ask something and if i press control save and go back to this one ai chatbot and if i click on this now you will see a dialog pop up ask something okay so that's it for this video see you in the next video till then bye bye